it? Max Gilliam. That, that even sounds like a quarterback's name, right? Max Gilliam, yeah. UNLV. From a bad movie, yeah. Sure, yeah. here. Uh, issued an apology Monday uh, for a recent appearance on Bravo's Below Deck, in which he features eating sushi off a nude model. Uh, he appeared with his childhood best friend, B- Dax Nidolo. <laughs> 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 hang, hanging out with dick bags named Dax Nidolo. <laughs> Nid- <laughs> Max and Dax. I'm going to let you in on a little secret uh, behind the scenes here is I watched this show uh, with, <laughs> oh, okay. with, with my wife. Uh, and it's fucking terrible. Uh, I hate myself every time I watch it. Uh, but I, sometimes I, I can't pull myself away, quite frankly. All right. uh, um, hold on real quick. But before you get into, can you maybe go over, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to properly vet and scan for bullshit. So read the okay. first few sentences. I'm going to go uh, when I hear bullshit. Okay. And okay. I'll tell you why. And I won't, I won't one line. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, I would like to apologize for my poor judgment while uh, on the TV. Wasn't poor okay. to do what you did. You ate off the fucking new woman. Go ahead. Okay, uh, and acknowledge that I have made a mistake that I will learn from. Uh, well, what, what's there to learn from? You ate off a new chick. Okay, next. While it was not my idea, nor any of my friends' ideas to eat sushi off of a model, I believe that, I should have exercised better judgment and declined uh, immediately. What, okay. what better judgment? You eating off a new woman. You present me a okay. I'm a single man in college. My name's Max. <laughs> I'm with my bro Dex. <laughs> that, was, that was good. Oh, I'm, below, I'm below deck on a on a probably a billion dollar yacht on a show called Below Deck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or, now uh, here's this should this should set your bullshitometer off. Um, nor a reflection of the cold. Culture of UNLV football. <laughs> That's a <laughs> yes. Excuse me, sir. The the words Las Vegas are in the fucking name. So well, you can fuck right off, Max. <laughs> yeah. And that's the way they gave them the meal. Well, wouldn't it just be rude to not eat the meal at that point? Wouldn't you be um, insulting the, maybe the culture? Of somebody that uh, that designed the food, because this is something they do. I believe it. I think it's in Japan. Like this is what those uh, I don't know those panty sniffing businessmen do <laughs> over on the island. Well, all the time. I will say, in his defense, the chef is like a fucking Midwest yokel, uh, but she's mm-hmm. a very good chef. So I don't think she was culturally being like, "You should eat my sushi this way." Uh, because I don't know what Idaho sushi looks like, but I'm assuming it's not like this. Also, let's take a look just so for clarity. The, uh, I can, do I have the screen share? Uh, you do. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, so yeah, this is what we're talking about. Like, oh my, this is the size yeah. of the boat. And you know, I was going to bring up, uh, th- there's nothing in the in the article that re- that led me to believe that the ladies were offended by this. They all brought they all brought dates for the uh, for the extravaganza. They, but you know, nothing said that they were disgusted. They ate the sushi as well, so everyone had a good time. They're adults. I don't, I don't know if you happen to see the whirly bird uh, That's sitting on the deck of Damn. this thing, but yeah, I mean, dude, they it's, fly that to uh, Delaware. I- like you that's won't. where they eat dinner and shit at. Like it has in there's in there in the back of it is where jet skis come out of. So like yeah. it's absolutely insane. They literally have a team of like three broads waiting on them hand and foot, and then like four dudes who just mill about the boat cleaning every surface on a twenty four hour schedule. Like, what did you think was gonna happen? Is all I'm saying. There was no chance they weren't eating something exotic off of something exotic uh, when they went on the boat. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I believe this is the ad to rent it. It is three hundred thousand dollars a week. Wow. And, and what yeah. he, what he should really be apologizing for is his apology was issued straight from uh, Apple Notes. He didn't even like bother to like put it on like a real like. I don't know, letterhead or anything. He just literally typed it into his phone, screenshot it, and put it on Twitter. Should apologize for that shit. Kind of college education they give this moron. That's an apology right there. Formal, if you ask me. I'm I'm old school, baby. It just just proves to you that the Division I quarterback doesn't even own a computer. 
Like he doesn't. He's in college. He doesn't even. Ha- he just has a fucking phone. He's like, Man, well, fuck Word. We just won't <laughs> type it up like that. We'll just type it up on here. That, oh, and UNLV. Why is he typing up his own fucking apology letter? Where's your PR department? Seems like a fucking uh-huh. shittily run organization over there. <laughs> this just tells me he doesn't actually know how to type, and he turned on speech to text and allowed his tutor to speak into his phone before he posted on Twitter. I I thought initially he just mashed in a bunch of emojis and then had those <laughs> translated to words. It's like emoji wingdings to uh to human <laughs> human letter. Yeah. yeah. It was like roll, rolling head laughing emoji. Uh, <laughs> it was a, it was it was the sushi icon followed by Asian woman followed by sad face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 